Holy freaking poop on a stick. What's up, buddy? Oh, I just said the word and he is staring me down like he's gonna murder me. Oh my God. morning people and happy Friday welcome back to the channel there is Leo being an absolute nuisance per his usual. what's up buddy you're gonna be in the video for most of the day huh you're feeling whiny today ah, 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 get your ass down you know you're bad he's being a pest so we're gonna do the best we can with what we got with this intro but we're about to do a full day of eating starting out with breakfast I have two whole eggs, which it's been a minute. If you've been following my journey, my gut health journey, I have not had eggs in a very long time. I'm gonna slowly try and introduce them back into my life because I'm kinda sad that I can't have them, so I'm gonna try to be a once a week, twice a week girly and see what happens. Now, it wasn't the whole egg that I was having issues with, it was just the egg whites, and the sun is like, choosing when it wants to be bright and not. Um, it was just the egg whites, so we are gonna stick to whole eggs and see what that does for us here. So, we have two whole eggs. I have 56 grams of avocado. Don't ask me why, it's just what fit on the piece of bread. I have about an ounce and a half of turkey deli meat. I have light mayo and a little bit of hot sauce on two pieces of bread. Not even low calorie bread, just normal human life bread. As you guys know, I am currently in off season and we are living our best life with the amount of carbs that we're consuming. Um, it's gonna slowly get bumped up as time goes on. We're doing a super slow reverse diet. Just ignore my freaking pimps that I have going on here, the life that I'm living, and don't be grossed out that I just touched that. It is what it is about to start my cycle, just bear with us. So I'm gonna do a full day eating for you guys, full day eating via off season. Now, I do wanna preface this, everyone's calories, everyone's macros are gonna be the same, and like I said, my calories and macros are going to be changing as time goes on. As I go through this reverse, they're slowly going to be bumped up. My cardio is slowly going to be bumped down. As you guys know, if you've been following my journey, I'm trying to have some babies within the next year or so. Don't know exactly perfectly perfect time frame, um, but we're, we're gauging within the next year or so is kind of where we're at. And so in that fashion, I am preparing for that life. Don't forget to subscribe, click on that little bell. I have a meeting, I gotta eat this food, so I will catch you guys probably not until the next meal because I have back-to-back -back meetings until like 2 p.m. So I'll catch y'all at the next meal. Bye. All right, people, I have exactly 15 minutes until my next call and we are going to attempt to make a salad and potentially eat it, but probably not eat the whole thing. You guys are balancing on a scone tray right now. So we're gonna do the best we can with what we got here and let's fucking make the salad. So I am going to use this entire thing of lettuce because why not? Lettuce is pretty much like, just like green water, right? I am going to cut up some mushrooms here. Super simple and easy. And as you guys will notice, I'm not like the super aesthetically pleasing girly on these. I just kind of throw some stuff together, call it a day. Whatever I have in my fridge whatever I kind of have a little bit of a game plan of. I don't know what it is. I've been on a weird mushroom kick, so not really mad about it. Really like mushrooms. Then we're gonna do a red onion. Obviously not the entire red onion. We are just going to do part of a red onion. I'm gonna cut this bad boy like this so we can get the skin off. And sorry, I'm like out of frame trying to fit this in frame when I'm out of frame. Cause my camera hates me. Okay. We're gonna do some red onion. Probably just one little cut. Put the rest in a bag, put the rest in the fridge, chop this bitch up. As you can tell, I'm in a rush. My day is back to back to back life and I don't have time to physically use my brain. And luckily, I was getting pretty freaking hungry, so. Luckily my last call was pretty quick. 
Then we're gonna do some cherry tomatoes. Chop those up, put those in here. Then we're going to take out our trusty, dusty food scale because we're going to measure this bad boy out. We're gonna get some chicken in here. I just looked at this because I was like, oh my God, am I even recording? <laughs> Let's put some chicken in here. So I, every single week, I will batch protein. I am not even gonna heat this up. I'm just gonna throw this pre-made chicken in here. We are going to do six ounces. Let's see. Ooh. Close. 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 <laughs> Close. Hell yeah, brother. Six ounces of chicken. We then are going to do a serving of light Olive Garden dressing. And I am also going to put in some banana peppers. So while I do that and clean this up and put this away, then I'll show you the final salad product. Quick and easy. And that is the finished product. Super simple and easy. I am going to scarf this down before my next call, but I wanted to touch on something really quick. I, every time I make food of any sort, if you wanna keep your space nice and clean and tidy, I do something called a space reset. And that literally means that when I finish doing something, I clean up my space before I do anything else, which means I'm physically not allowed to eat that salad until my space is clean and reset. That helps you keep your life together so you don't feel like you're at a constant state of clutter and mayhem. So try that out, see if that helps your life. I'm gonna eat the salad and then do my billion meetings. Having a little snacky snack before my last and final meal of the day. I'm so excited and then I'm done. And then I'm gonna take Leo for W-A-L-K across the street in the neighborhood. I'm excited about that. I'm gonna listen to my Audible book and catch up on that a little bit. I like doing outside walks with him versus, oh, I just said the word and he is staring me down like, He's gonna murder me if I don't take him. Um, I like doing the outside vibe more than on the treadmill. It makes me just like whew, enjoy nature. I can listen to my audible. I'm not in a gym. It doesn't smell like feet. I really like it. So I try to be intentional about doing that. But here's this little snacky snack. One nutrition, lemon meringue, protein bar. I'm gonna be honest. Some of their protein bars taste like literal soap. Gross, not good. This is my absolute favorite flavor by far. I also like the brownie one, but this is the one that we are doing. Here are the macros for this, and these are my boy nails. I just had my acrylics taken off because they were driving me fucking insane. But just to appease my small child. Hi, my Leo boy. I give you a treat just because I fucked up and I said the word and we're not going yet. You had to wait like another hour. Can you sit, though, for being so good? You're just so good. And I can't even take them OUT right now because there's deer in my yard. Sit, please. So pretty and so handsome. Okay, time for a meeting. Okay, holy frick, poop on a stick. I'm done with my meetings today. I'm literally brain dead. I don't feel like doing anything else. But we are going to because we have no other choice. All right, I'm gonna show you this pre-workout meal that I'm having. You're gonna die. It's so good. Let me just hold. Let me just, let me just get what I need because I'm in the wrong room. I have two refrigerators. I actually have three refrigerators, but two in the house. This is a wreck. All right. Key ingredient for our life right now. You're gonna die, you're gonna die. Just like, you're gonna fucking die. All right, you ready? Cause we're gonna go train, we need some carbies, but we also need some protein. We're gonna W-A-L-K with L-E-O and get him rolling. So that is our first ingredient of life. And then let me grab our second ingredient. Next. Okay, we need that. Finally, drizzlicious little rice cakes. You're gonna fucking die. This is so good. This is my favorite little snacky snack ever in life. All right, so let's have a snacky snack. 
let's W-A-L-K before it gets too late because it's a 3.30 and to be honest, if it was up to me, I would just like not do anything for the rest of the day, but you know, that's not how the cookie crumbles. We have a lot of life to still live. I wanna walk, I wanna train, and then after I walk and train, I have more work to do, even after we walk and train, <laughs> but that's okay. All right, you ready? I'm gonna scoop down for this one, nice and low. I'm literally squatting because I'm the tallest human that ever existed in life. We need three ingredients in our life. We need a fit in life, little yogurt guy. Here's macros, ready? Uh, I passed them. Oh, uh, they're not on this. Anyway, it's like 12 grams of protein, eight grams of carbs, and I think two fat, perfect. Love that, amazing. Light Cool Whip, you're gonna die. Stick this in the freezer. It's literally practically ice cream. It's so fucking good, but like a quarter of the calories. Half a gram of fat, three carb, no protein. Love that for us. Nine grams is one serving. So what we're gonna do, so we're gonna take our Cool Whip, Cool Whip, and you're gonna die because literally you get so much. And why is this so filling? I don't know. I'm not in charge, but it's good AF, okay? So we are gonna do 50 grams of Cool Whip. Whip. 50 grams of Cool Whip, all right? I think that's what we're gonna do. Hold, divided by nine. Perfect. Five and a half servings, love that for us. 50 grams of Cool Whip and one of these whole Fit and Lights. Yeah. I unfortunately got the one with fruit in it, which I actually don't like as much as the normal ones but it is what it is. So then we're gonna mix it up, give it a little stir, give it a little stir. Yum, so good. Then we're gonna add our Drizzalicious, which these are bomb too, the macros are so good. One serving is only 90 calories. So let's do this. 21 grams. Mm-hmm, best pre-workout snack ever in life. That's it. So freaking good. Oh my God. The best. This is like my go-to little dessert at night. I'll either do this or just straight yogurt. It depends on how many carbs I have, but it's, so good. Oh my God. Mm, 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 mm. So good. Like I just can't, uh, and the macros are so good. Mm, I love, that's some good shit right there. And look, if you have extra time, when you mix the Cool Whip and the um, yogurt together. If you have time and you're that patient, I'm not, but if you do, stick it in the freezer for like 10 minutes, even better. But I just frankly don't have the patience for that, so. Leo. All right, he's over it. We gotta go on a walk. See you guys later. <laughs> Okay, chickens, I'm headed to the gym. I wanna preface this because I'm having a hard life here. I wanted to go to the gym that allows me to record. They could care a fuck less because I'm very respectful. I don't get people in my videos. I ask permission, all the things, right? I now have to go to the gym that hates me and doesn't let me record anything because they, they hate me which is fine, that's fine, but I have to go to this gym because it's this way and all the stores I need to go to are this way and all the errands I need to run are this way and the gym that allows me to record is that way. So I have no other life choice, bye. All right, and for dinner we have homemade poke. 
homemade ahi poke. And we have some ahi tuna, sushi grade. We have edamame, cucumbers, avocado, red onion, some rice down there at the bottom, a little bit of lettuce in there, some cilantro, same, his and hers. And I'm gonna top it with this sriracha mayo. So good. Okay, last meal. Quick, 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 because I'm watching a move with my babe. I got light full whip, light and fit Greek yogurt, and again, these goodies. Yum! So good. And that will wrap up a full day eating. Thank you guys so much for joining me and following along my journey. I have a ton of really, really awesome announcements coming up. So stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe. Click on that little bell so you never miss an update from me again. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye!